Hello everybody, I'm Dark Matter Luigi and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. And this is going to be a blind Let's Play and I'm going to play Stanley Parable. This is like an indie game I'm guessing and I I know like a bunch of other famous YouTubers like Markiplier and other people played it and I the only Thing, all all that I've seen of this game is that one of my friends showed me a really funny part of Markiplier's videos of this game, and I've only seen like a couple minutes or so. That's pretty much all I've seen. So, otherwise, this is gonna be fine. So, let's get this game rolling. Let's begin. And I'm not gonna use the face cam because I don't think this is gonna be a horror game. It might be. I don't even know. I just don't know. Okay. Oh man, my friend is not going to expect this. You know who you are. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Lost, no reminds me of Lost. To give him instructions, the button. call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Um, Alright, so we're going to get started here. The, the mouse can movement is kind of wonky, but oh well. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, he probably missed a memo that we aren't having a... They're having a day off, guys, so, uh, you don't need to work here, so, yeah, goodbye, everybody. Apparently, that's what Stanley missed. That door's locked. That door's locked. Oh, this door's opened. Pretty much all the doors that are closed are gonna be locked. I really need to change this mount sen sensitivity. It's really bugging me. Sorry, there might be a couple lag spikes, because my computer isn't the best, so... Just bear with me on that. Ah, is, when, is whenever this door locked? When opened. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, I wonder what happens if you oh, go to the door on the right. I, I better not do that. I'm kind of guessing this is going to be a horror game, isn't it? And also, I heard that you can make your own story on this game and create your own, like, make your own voice acting. That's why, at least, that's what I heard from my friend. Yet there was so. not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let a ball up inside you. Ew, that's kind of gross. Uh, what? Oh, okay, I'm not gonna read all that. that, that that's kind of stupid. Oh, 
I did not close that door unless suddenly I automatically closed that door. Oh yes, I can finally open doors! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, I'm gonna close that door just for safe measures. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Again, I wonder if I go down, if anything will happen. I I'm gonna... I'm gonna follow the narrator's orders. Because you always have to follow a narrator's orders, otherwise something bad will happen. Close that door. Come on, close that door. Ah, oh, wait. Whatever. Oh, this looks kind of creepy. Again, why do doors randomly close on it by itself? That's pretty creepy. Only horror games would do that. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Uh, 2845. 2845. Gonna have to remember that. I don't have a... I, I Stanley have a... just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Well, I guess I don't really need to know that. I guess I have to... stay around for Two, a while. 2845. Ah... What? I'm confused. Am I really supposed to do something? Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along uh, with the story. Well, whoop de do. Okay. This isn't a horror game, but this is really creeping me out. Uh... Am I supposed to go down? Okay, down the elevator we go! Whoopty freaking do! Loading screens, yay! The loading screen of death! <sighs> Is there like, a, there better be a save button, like a thing that you're gonna be able to save on. I really hope. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, random lights. That's cool. That is really nice. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hey, I'm gonna see if I can pause it and, uh, uh, I really hope I can save this game. I really hope I can. Otherwise, this would just be a waste of time. It, and it's dark. Press the, the button! The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm guessing that he does. Or I do, because I'm Stanley. <gasps> I'm Stanley. Stanley's such a cool name. When I press the key button, is that me twitching my thumbs? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley 
one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know what they're going with all of this, but whatever. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, that that kind of sucked. That no. really just like... He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? That is pretty crazy! But Someone's controlling group, someone? The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Plus, press the red button, do it! Come on, press the red button. It's pretty obvious that this is the red button we're supposed to press. I know I've been trying to say stuff, but the narrator keeps on interrupting me. Oh, I guess this- I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to be at. That's what I'm guessing. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh. Oh, crap. Uh mm. Oh, okay. It's really dark. It's like Blackness very dark. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Oh. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Yay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. So pretty! The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yay! I'm happy! So is that it? Or is that... Yeah, that's not it. Of course it's not it. Of course it can't be it! I'm sorry I wasn't able to talk much, but just the narrator... Na the narrator... <laughs> can I ever talk? No, I can't. The narrator keeps on blathering about um, his business with the whole story stuff. And... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. And was that the intro? Was that literally the intro? I think it was. Or maybe there's more to the intro. 
Or maybe there isn't even an intro. Hmm. That's peculiar. Peculiar, I mean. So we're right here. This is fun. That's very reminiscent of Lost. And oh, thank God the like the, the mouse is a lot better now. Thank God the lot mouse is a lot better. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, no what? matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Uh, what? I'm really confused. I I just what does it? Is this all there is to it? This is just playing the beginning of the game again. Okay, you know I'm gonna figure this out sooner or later. I don't know. So, but this is gonna be the end of part one of the Stanley Parable. So, if you like this this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment. And if you want updates on my channel, be sure to go on my Twitter. It'll be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play of this Stanley Parable. If there ever will be a part two, yeah. A wonderful day, guys, and peace out.